Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you this look at the future stars in the sport of golf. Today from TPC Boston, live third round coverage of the Boston Open. Rich Lerner here in our tower overlooking the 18th green. Frank Navalo is by my side. Out on the course, we've got Nota Begay III and Diona Steven as we check the Saturday leaderboard. A number of folks in contention, including our leader. So let's get out to it. We pick things up just before the turn at the par 4 ninth. One of the best swings of the day. Just unlucky, really, that last bounce kicked it into the first cut. So now from that first cut, he is second to the par four. That is not very good at all. That could cost him. Yeah, hindsight's 20-20. You just wish you took the shorter club now. <laughs> Lengthy putt here of 27 feet. Got it there, but not quite on target. Okay, a shake of the head as that one is finished off. And that's going to move him back down to even par. Par 4 tenth at 425 yards isn't overly long, but it's a strategic hole and it demands accuracy. Maybe a fairway wood off the tee, and there's that two-tiered bunker you have to deal with on the right side of the green. You need to keep it away from that. That will do just fine. From the fairway, 98 yards remaining for his second. What a way to stop the back nine. That is a tremendous iron shot. Let's see if he can knock this in. It's for birdie. Yes, rolls it right in. A birdie here at 10. And he's into red figures now at one under par. Frank, given all of the trouble that you can get into here at this par 311, you'd have to say that a player's going to be happy walking off with three. Yeah, it's one of the biggest greens on the golf course, Rich. And, and too often people try and go a little uh, flag hunting. If the flag's on the right side, you don't want to pay the price by finishing up in the bunker. A 
Okay, that's going to end up right in the middle of the green. Shouldn't be much in this for birdie. Nah, that's going to slide by to the left. Good work to get into that position, but couldn't finish it off. So that rushed in for Paul here at 11. And he'll remain in red figures at one under. Moving on now to the 12th, and Frank, describe this all for us. Sneaky good par four. It's long enough, you know, so that 450, 460 mark bends a little to the left. Really, you want to be in the middle of fairway here, because that second shot with the green just tilting towards the hazard, one of the toughest second shots you have on the golf course. Breeze at his back shoulder as he lines up his second from the fairway. Well, had a good look at the green, but couldn't hash it in. In the rough now, wondering what might have been. Touch. Excellent get from behind the green, and that one goes down for an unlikely birdie. Frank, par 4 13. Just swing away with that big stick with the driver. Big advantage if you've got another 10 or 15 yards left in the bag here. If you can carry that left side, you certainly shorten this hole up. Just what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find a rhythm, hit fairways, hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. Second shot coming up. Let's check in for the first time with Nota Begay the third. Looking at 153 to the hole, coming off a birdie on the previous, looking for two in a row. That's got to be disappointing. Good line in the fairway, and the approach winds up in the bunker. Yeah, look how quick that was. Very difficult to get that to stop, even out of the sand. And that race is right on by. This will be a five-foot putt here. Ah, uh, good putt there. It's a bogey five here at the par four. And he'll fall back to one under par. Back here at the par four, 14, ready to tee off. This is a big dog leg to the left, 495-yard hole, Frank. Yeah, don't try and hug that left side too much. There's a bunch of little mounds, and the chances of getting a good lie there, next to none.
nice long tee shot. Fairway does get narrow down there. A little unlucky to get into the first cut. Okay, good putt, and a par here at 14, and he'll remain at one under par. Frank, after a couple of par fours where you just sort of let it go with the driver, different strategy here at the 15th? Yeah, you don't want to get carried away here. This is, uh, this is one where just a nice smooth swing, get that ball in the fairway. And that second shot, you've got to carry that false front. No problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. Now, note of his second from the fairway. 112 to the hole. The pin is in the front right part of the green. Sandwich takes flight. And I don't think it's going to carry. <laughs> 